So before we get started with the video, I wanted to tell you about a couple of things that are gonna be different from previous uh, nights. And the first thing is you're gonna notice that this video is longer than the others. Well, the reason for that is, is we're not just showing you the video that we pre-recorded and that we show in the evening times. What we're also showing you is the whole time that myself, Dr. Bernice Haroff, and my assistant, Dr. Brock Lee, are up there doing, uh, doing our little bit uh, for VBS. Okay, so what you're gonna see when we do that is you're gonna see myself and Dr. Lee and we're up there, uh, and then when we start the video, you're gonna see that video taking up this full screen. But then up here in this corner, you're gonna see the live show still going on and the interaction that we're having with the students up there on stage. And then after that, it's gonna cut back to the live show and it's just that's taken up the full screen and we're showing you what's happening real time and then once that's done and we get off the stage you're going to see the completion of the video um, the shorter video that we showed during the VBS evening so I just wanted to explain that to you real quick before you start watching it okay enjoy <laughs> So that you guys would come back tonight, I went out, I got a new shirt. Is that all right? You like that? And shorts. So. You look good. You look real nice. Because when you win the race, you want to look good. You want to smell good too. Look good. Hey, baby girl. Go sit down. <laughs> oh, no. One more person. We're missing one. Hey, dude. so we're missing Kar Karina. All right. Now you, okay, you guys can stand to, to the side, right over here. So now these are our volunteers. Second. These two, <laughs> these two awesome young people, and the other one, no, I'm just kidding. These three awesome kids are gonna help us with the experiment. But first, we're gonna find out how the race is going. So let's cue up that video, shall we? Oh, 
we want to say, you know, whenever we walk with God, like walking on eggs, we walk with God, uh, we have to we have to trust Him. And walking on eggs is kind of like that. We don't know how it's going to happen. It's going to happen, but the more and more we do it, the more and more we trust God and walk with God by obeying Him, by listening to Him, um, we can grow in our trust with Him. Yeah, you guys were learning about Daniel today, right? And Daniel was trusting God even before he got put in the den of lions. Those were stuffed lions. It, no, they were not like they, these little things. They're real lions. Okay, but he trusted God before getting put in there, and God chose to honor that trust. And God was faithful to care for him. And it's the same way for us. You know, we may have difficult times, but if we trust God first and foremost, then oh, even when the lions come into your daily life, you don't have to be afraid because God is your what? Oh, come on, God is our God is your what? God is your what? Protector! Nothing can harm you. When God's on your side, lions are just big old kitty cats that need a scratch behind the ears. Alright. We're we'll turning it back over to Stephanie. So what was it like walking on eggs for the first time? It was probably a little bit nervous kind of thing because you didn't know if they were going to break or not. But as you walked and they didn't break, you're just like, well, well, this is easy. Or you know what? Maybe they did crack a little bit, but you were still able to walk across them. Now, that's super cool. You know, it's kind of the same way with God. The more you trust him, the easier it becomes to trust him. You see that he's trustworthy in everything because God is going to protect you. Would you like to say something, Dr. Lee? <laughs> well, yes. I like to say it's kind of like, you know, doing something you've never done before, like stepping out on faith. I've never been able to tell my friend about Jesus before, but if I just do it, I find out that that's not so bad, and it, hey, it works out pretty good. See, and it doesn't even matter if your friends decide that they're not interested in what you're saying or they're not interested in Jesus. All we have to do is be faithful to tell others that God is our protector. What's so great about God? God is... Wait, I didn't hear you. God is... Protector, I can count on him. It was pretty scary to step on something that you knew could give way at any minute. It must have been pretty scary for Daniel to step out and obey God, even when he knew it might cost him his life. But Daniel trusted God, and so can we. That doesn't mean that bad things won't happen to us, because they will. But we never have to face our problems 